Welcome to a video that I wanted to do for a long time because there is so much talk around the conjunction of Mars and Uranus with the fixed star Algol. I would like to take a different point of view on this topic and I'm really interested in your opinion on that. So go ahead and leave a comment. Also like, share and subscribe to my new YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. With Mars and Uranus conjunct uh, during 15th to 17th July 2024, uh, we experience an extremely intense electromagnetic energy. And let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Um, we also have to be prepared for unexpected twists and turns personally and collectively. And uh, we have already had an idea how this can play out last night in the US. I believe that the conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus was the kickoff for a new cycle of the next 14 years. This conjunction happened in April this year, and um, it brings many innovations, new ideas, a new way at looking at networks, and networking itself, and an overall new perspective on life, because our personal and collective consciousness is now expanding ever so rapidly. We can observe in real time how the old paradigm wants to hold on to the same old familiar state of things. We see the death of the old world. We see those emerging who open up new doors and a sudden change of events are to be found in our fields of consciousness. The space weather provides us with increasing solar storms with Uranus activated, and we are reaching the peak of the current solar cycle 25. Some say it peaks next year in 2025, but with this massive electromagnetic current, I believe it is happening sooner. Therefore, take good care of your nervous system. They are electromagnetic as well. Train your vagus nerves, train your energy bodies. Uranus represents and awakens our cosmic consciousness of creation, our cosmic intelligence, our CI versus AI artificial intelligence. And uh, you can always decide in which direction you want to um, lead your consciousness, your thoughts. This is happening in lightning speed. So you can either be triggered with what is happening or try to flow and serve this speed wave and be activated to higher intuition, higher inspiration, higher intelligence. Better is to observe not absorb, as a German woman, Kate Bono, constantly reminds us in her Telegram channel. And this is high quality Aquarian consciousness. I do not speak of neutrality, but of impartiality, because impartiality includes the heart consciousness. And in this state of observation, our heart frequency vibrates higher than what we are observing. And from this state of awareness, we open ourselves into a higher spiritual space of consciousness and new earth is emerging. Through the activation of Mars, Uranus, Algol, we receive opportunities through the cosmic high voltage frequency to create great things. And as we are all connected electromagnetically, we have to come together in communities. We have to find our soul tribe to co-create even greater things together now and know that we are coherently guided to do so, even though unexpected twists and turns can occur that can shake us in our core. If you haven't, then uh, I invite you cordially to join my um, Facebook group, The Galactic Soul Tribe, or my Telegram channel, and uh, the links are all below in the description of this video. 
please remind yourselves that darkness is not evil. It is just darkness. It represents our blind spot. And the more we untangle our dark aspects, the more light we shine in these life areas, the more illuminated they will become. And we have now with Algol and its archetypical energies, conjunct Mars and Uranus, a beautiful chance to bring a higher vibration, a higher frequency of love into the dark and become more enlightened beings in the process. The fixed star Algol is labeled the most notorious star in our night sky. Our ancient astronomers who were also astrologers when both esoteric sciences were still united and much more advanced than we are now. They were mystified by Algol. It appears bright in the night sky only to disappear and reappear once again. So Algol was referred to as the blinking eye of the demon and therefore connected with evil, suffering, pain, death, intoxication and tragedy. This phenomenon of appearing and disappearing is due to the fact that it is a binary star that eclipses itself every few days. So, Algol is in an ecliptic motion, or we could say in a transformational spiral every few days, and therefore has earned the reputation of a star that cannot be trusted. I would like to talk about Algol and the myth of Medusa it is uh, linked with, and I was inspired by this perspective by an intuitive astrologer, Tanaz, who you can find on foreverconsciousness.com. Algol is located in the Perseus constellation, which is in the zodiac of Taurus, and is said to represent the center of Medusa's head, or the third eye and therefore closely connected with her myth. In Greek mythology, Medusa was a beautiful woman and an oracle, revered as goddess, but was turned into a demon, a gorgon, by the ever-jealous Pallas Athena. As a gorgon, whose hair was made of snakes, she must have been a terrifying sight, and those who looked at her were petrified and turned into stone. The background image is a lithograph from 1897 by Louis Uri, and he used in a figurative sense lithography, a technique from ancient Greek lithos, stone, and garapho, to write, as a method of printing from a stone. I find this so fitting. Again, back to Medusa. Athena was jealous of Medusa's powers and presented the hero Perseus with a reflecting shield, which created a mirror image and gave him the opportunity to avoid having to face the danger directly. In her sleep, he cut off Medusa's head by looking at her uh, mirror image, sorry, and gave it to Athena to use in battle. Because after having her head uh, cut off, Medusa became a powerful weapon in battle. Those standing behind her were protected, but those confronting her were cast to stone. Even though Athena was her former enemy, it was partly thanks to Medusa that Athena was so successful in her victories. So ultimately, Medusa became more powerful after she died. Ironically, she became Athena's secret weapon after their heavily conflicted relationship. Medusa is a powerful archetype of magic, transformation, and feminine power. She's a monster, her hair of snakes wards off evil and enhances her psychic abilities. The blood dripping from, from her deep decapitated head magically gives birth to new life and is linked to the menstrual cycle. She became mighty and powerful, either protecting or killing those in her path. So associating Medusa with Algol and then giving it a sinister reputation is a typical patriarchal move. But if Algol represents the energy of Medusa, it represents the monster and the snake myth. 
but also the oracle, the beauty, and the incredible power that lies within transformation. The, mytholo the mythology of Medusa depicts a tragic story of victim and victory, a woman who by no fault of her own was turned into a gorgon, decapitated and used. Let's not forget by a woman, Pallas Athena, by definition, the matriarch, for her incredible powers of protection. However, Medusa, like the snake that sheds its skin over and over again, rebirthed herself again and again. And through every transformation, she became stronger and more powerfully magic. So I invite you all to look at Algol rather than as a star of tragedy and destruction, as a star of transformation, magic, protection, and power. At this galactic moment in time and space, we can find Algol at around 26 degrees of Taurus. And I invite you to look at your charts and see if there are any natal planets conjunct, opposing, or squaring Algol. And most importantly, in which house of your chart 26 degrees of Taurus falls. This life area is most activated by the Mars-Uranus Algol transit and therefore represents a resource you can harness and own. Algol reminds us that through tragedies we hold great Medusian power. We too can rise again, transform, rewrite our story and find a new purpose in life. When Algol's energy is used consciously and constru constructively, it is a powerful portal of psychic and physical protection. The Medusa's head for many centuries was used as a talisman to ward off evil, and we can view Algol in the same way. We can connect with the protection, power, and magic that it brings. Algol can support us in heightening our psychic abilities, opening up our third eye, and make us aware to clear our energy fields frequently. Algol also reminds us to step into our feminine power, both women, women and men, and men can work with their anima in this case. Algol also shines a new light on the dark feminine it mirrors like Perseus' shield and awakens us to own the power of the dark feminine archetype that we all hold in our bodies, the blind spot I was referring to earlier. Medusa's hair was made of snakes. There is a strong connection to the Kundalini energy we all hold. It can be overwhelming, all-encompassing, engulfing, chaotic, like the entangled snakes on Medusa's head, ever turning and twisting, never resting, mesmerizing and captivating, getting us caught in their spell and render us motionless and petrified. But it can also lead us to the higher states of awareness and knowing. The Kundalini rests in a coil in our root chakra. And when it is wakened, it rises up our spine and our head and moves out of the third eye. Then we are connected to the divine, like Medusa, the oracle, and we receive guidance from our primordial source of energy. So Algol, the blinking eye of the demon, can ultimately help us to transform evil to good, suffering and pain to healing death to life, transform the toxic to an antidote. Instead of literally losing our heads through obsessive thoughts, we heal and protect our mental and emotional bodies. We observe, we do not absorb. Through tra tragedy, we wield more power. We move into the higher consciousness to bring revolutionary ideas and gifts into this world. And this is the time now. From the destructive circle of patriarchy versus matriarchy, we celebrate the heroes gamas of our sacred higher states of masculine and feminine unity consciousness. 
I hope this all helps you to navigate the time quality of the coming days and weeks. And I wish you beautiful insights and flashes of inspiration. I hope you can harness the Medusa powers within you. And should you wish to find out what Algol has in store for you personally, come and book a galactic astrology reading with me. The details are below the video. Let's go galactic. <laughs>